In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these book page roses. They look really professional, really sweet, but it's surprisingly easy to make and of course very inexpensive. So all you need is some paper. Now I'm using book pages, but you could use any paper, copy of paper, magazines, anything you like to get a different effect and some sort of glue. I'm using tacky glue, but it really doesn't matter. You could use hot melt glue. You could use some other glue you've got an all purpose, whatever you've got to hand. And then if you want a stem, you're going to need something for a stem. Now I'm going to use a straw, but you could use a garden cane, pipe cleaner, one of those little sticks that you do your nails with, that you push the cuticles back with. In fact, anything you've got to hand. And you're also going to need a ruler and a pencil to get your squares. Or you might want to make a template if you're making a lot of these like I've done. It's entirely up to you. So the first thing you're going to do is make some squares of your paper. Now mine is four inches by four inches and with that you end up with flowers that are about three inches across. So simply draw around your template or mark out using your ruler and your pencil four inch by four inch or whatever size you've gone for and then you want three of them. So what I'm going to do is just peel up three pages and cut all three at the same time. It really doesn't matter how you end up with your three squares or what size they are. I do think this is probably as small as you want to go because I think you'll find the smaller ones a little bit fiddly. But by all means, try it. And if you're one of those people who's really, really good at tiny things, which I'm not, you may well be able to make smaller ones. So get yourself your three squares and you're ready to start folding. So just take one of the squares and fold it in half and you're going corner to corner to give you a triangle and then fold it in half again and then fold it in half again and you'll see that I've got hold of the end where all the bits are attached and the bits that's all floppy and open that's where we're going to cut so you're just going to cut a nice sweeping curve so that you've got the end of your petal. So that's what you're forming here, your petal shape. So it's entirely up to you. You could draw them or you could do them all freehand. You'll see I just do them freehand. And you should end up with something that looks quite like an ice cream cone. And that's the shape you're looking for. And you'll not be surprised to learn that you're now going to repeat that with the other two squares. So you're going to do your folds cut your curve on the top. So you're going to fold it once, twice, three times and then cut the curve on the top. So once you've got three ice cream cones, what do they really look like? Well, if you opened one out, which you don't need to do, that's what it should look like. And if that's what you've got, you're on your way. So the next step for each one is to cut the bottom off. Now I've cut a little bit too much on this one. I recommend up to quarter of an inch, but certainly less is fine. And then once you've cut one, open it out and cut one petal out. Just like that, just one petal. You can see how that's going to work. Put them to one side. Now you're going to cut that point off again, about the same as you did for the other. This time when you open it up, cut off two petals. So you can see you're going to be forming the petals of your rose out of all these rings of petals. And then final one, you've guessed it, cut the point off the end. And this time when you open it out, you're going to cut three petals out. So you should end up with six lots of petals, all with a different number of petals in them. Just like that. Once you've got all those, we can turn our attention to gluing. So take the largest set of petals and just run some glue along that edge that you cut. And then take the other cut edge and glue it across. Now, what sort of glue you use will influence how much drying time, how much you need to hold it. But whatever glue is the same technique. So then do the same for the next smallest one and then the next one. And then finally, the one with three petals on. Now, if they're springing apart, you could clip them closed. 
or if you're using hot melt glue they're probably pretty much dry instantly but you want those all to dry now the other two sets of petals that you've got you need to treat slightly differently so the one petal on its own you're going to roll it as tight as you can so just roll it and make a nice tight shape and that's going to be the very center of your rose once you've rolled it really tight you're going to open the edge up and put some glue in there and so you can just hold that nice and steady so just run some glue down and then fasten it up you can see my three petals have popped open now i'll see to those in a moment so you can always hold these you could clip them you can pin them so the two petals you're going to repeat what you did for the one petal and glue that and then you need everything to dry so just leave it till everything's dry then you want something really small like a cocktail stick or a toothpick or even that uh, nail tool that we had earlier and you're going to roll each of the petals around it so you can see that you're doing it so that the petals curl down when you start building your rows and you're going to do that with all of them except the two tiny ones that you rolled up if you're enjoying this video please give me a thumbs up below so that it can spread to more people and we can fill the whole world with book page roses so repeat that for the others and just put those to one side for the moment so once you've done them all we can start building the rows you're going to take that largest ring of petals and apply some glue around the middle and then put the next size in and press it in and then you're going to repeat so glue around the ring at the bottom and then the next set of petals in and then you're going to go again you'll see i just keep rubbing my fingers because i've got glue on them there's every chance you're going to get glue on your fingers doing this and then those three petals are going in so you can see you've got a rose but it hasn't got a middle so the two that you did earlier for the center you're going to apply some glue to the the smallest one and put it inside the other and that'll form the center and then put some glue along the length of your completed center and you're going to push it down through your rows so now you see why you didn't want too big a hole because it's going to push through and just form the back of your flower and at this point you're ready you can you can use your rows as it is so just let it dry and then you can put it on a garland or put it in a bowl but make as many as you want now what we're going to do also in this tutorial is put them on a stem and i'm going to give you a nice little tip to try and make your stem look as natural as possible so one option if you've got a very thin stem put some glue on it and push it through from the front and then it'll just stick in there nicely and you're sorted if however you're going to use a fatter stem like i am for example the straw you're going to need to put that on from the back so just glue it in place or tape it in place onto the back of the flower so i'm going to just put a little bit of tape on mine because i'm going to cover it now obviously that bright green straw is not ideal so a nice tip to make them really natural and really professional is to wrap the whole of the stem and some of the back of the rows in some green tape so i'm using some florist tape here and you can just run it down and you get it looking like this so i'm sure you'll agree it looks much more professional so whatever you're using your roses for good luck with them and i hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe and then you can see for more of my crafts good luck with your roses